All right, guys. God bless you, and welcome to This Is It. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Guys, I'm kind of like the cheerleader, team leader, squad leader, whatever you want to call me. Uh, we are a race of beings, angels. That shirt says, Ephesians 2.15, collectfiles.com, because I was inverted. Because I was inverted by the Lord God, I got my good side back. My good side was trapped within the system, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and the part that's evil seeks to destroy that which is good within me, within you, within all of us. There's part of us that's like a teddy bear, angel, and there's part of us that's like a dragon, devil. So we got caught in that system, and that's what we are. We are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the host body is a system which seeks to destroy the good in you. It's there to destroy your angelic essence. That's what the whole world is all about, now that you know. Anyway, um, this is my response. Um, I started watching a video that all you guys did. Um, I just want to tell you a funny story first, okay? So I, I'm responding to a video that all you guys did where you thanked me for um, just going to the wall for you. And um, uh, I want to give all that thanks to Jesus, the King, because he's the one that went to the wall. He's the one that went to the cross. He's the one that tore down the damn wall, the middle wall of separation that separated the two halves that were in us. We have two different halves living through us at the same time. But when you reach back to God, you can access that soft part of your heart again that gets hardened because the world tries to harden your heart and make you angry and make you sad and make you calloused and, you know, unforgiving. Um, anyway, and I just want to give the glory to Jesus for giving me my other half back, a.k.a. That's the reason I have the barrier. Um, it was my nickname growing up in a lot of situations. Um, anyway, without going into all the variants of the word bear that were in my nickname, that was a lot of my nickname growing up. Um, anyway, but uh, I want to thank Christ for restoring the kindness, and I want to thank uh, all you guys for... Uh, the thank you video. I appreciated it. Here's the funny story. Um, I tried to watch this the other day, and I was at a point of stressing out over all this information, especially about all the Obama stuff. He's absolutely the Antichrist, and I've just been stressing out that i got to go show the world again that this guy is the Antichrist, and here's the reasons why. So anyway, I left the house to go uh, Kung Fu Panda. That's one of my moves when I'm totally stressed out. I'll go get ice cream, and I'll go for a long drive to go get it. It's about a 20-minute drive. It's called AJ's. So anyway, I go on this 20-minute drive to go get ice cream because I'm like, okay, I just got to take a break. And Eli had done this video for me uh, with all you guys thanking me. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to watch the video that Eli made. So I was driving out there and I, I realized I couldn't watch what I was doing in traffic. So I waited till I got to AJ's ice cream. And it's actually called AJ's Frozen Custard, which is quite a ways from my house. And I got out there and I went through the drive through and I got this thing called the Texas Two Step. And I thought, all right, here we go. Now I'm going to pull over and I'm going to pull over under the shade of a big tree in the parking lot. Watch this video that you guys did for me. And um, and uh, just check it out. Well, as I began to watch the video, <laughs> and I started seeing it was all you guys thanking me, well, my emotional response was just to sit there and not feel worthy and to cry. And so I'm sitting there in my truck holding this big ice cream cup, just crying in it. <laughs> And I was just dripping tears and snot into my freaking ice cream. And I just I just cracked up. I was like, okay, this is a super cool video. I probably shouldn't be eating ice cream while I'm trying to watch it. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much, guys, for letting me minister to you and for letting me into your homes and 
for letting me into your hearts. Guys, it's so weird sometimes to do what I do. It's so awkward to sit there and have to show you some of this stuff. I, It's such a weird feeling sometimes, like having to show everybody all this horrifying reality. But the truth of it is, once you see and accept it, it gives you more peace than anything. It's the only thing that, knowing the truth is the only thing that can give you peace, by the way. And when you know the truth and you've been inverted, then you know the truth and then you're able to see through the correct lenses of truth. If you're trying to see the world through the lenses of truth and lies, it doesn't work. It's an illusion. When you turn back to the Lord God and your eyes become single, then you can see through the lenses of what Jesus was talking about. He's come to restore sight to the blind by inverting you so you can see the truth. That's what it's all about, his inverting you. The word invert means convert, by the way, turn quite around. And so when he converts you, you're able to see the world through a unified set of eyes, through his eyes, not through his eyes and Satan's eyes all at the same time. And you can't get a clear signal. You don't know what's going on. But that's why when you turn the virgin upside down, it becomes a dead sheep. Now I'm seeing through the lenses of Christ because... I'm not just seeing an image of the virgin. I turn the virgin upside down and it's a dead sheep. Now I'm seeing through the lenses of God's sight. Do you understand? So anyway, so anyway, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Guys, I sat there and I just, I was crying so hard in my ice cream. I just gave up and I just said, you know what? I think it's the first time I've ever not finished one of those ice creams because I, I, I it was getting too salty for me. Anyway, all right. So. Uh, if y'all don't mind, I would just like to play this video for everybody. And just, uh, this is you guys and this is me. We're all one. We're all one thing, guys. We're all, we're all a consciousness of angelic being dispersed throughout different host bodies. And your disbursement and my disbursement, Corey, Zach, all of you guys, every one of you, you've been dispersed somewhere. And the Lord has reconciled you back to himself now through the cross to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Now you're at peace. So now we can face the end of the world without being afraid, right? Amen. So I love you guys. Um, peace and grace, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Let's watch the vid now, eh? All right. Here we go. Uh, let me go back just a hair. So, yep. <laughs> so, it's way harder to watch this than I thought it would be. Um, so, let me explain something just my heart if I could take on everybody's burdens and fix them for them I would and the God whom, whom I serve and that's actually exactly what he did. He took on all our burdens and he made them doable. I look at all of you guys and we all have our own personal struggles and some of us, the struggles are harder than others. But through those struggles, it's like the butterfly without the struggle doesn't become the butterfly because I don't know if you guys know this but if you see a chrysalis moving and opening up and a butterfly trying to hatch if you go open and you tear it open thinking you're doing that butterfly a favor it'll destroy it so it won't be able to pump up its wings with the necessary fluid to get the wings to expand all the way. It's the struggle that allows those wings to expand. And those wings are analogous to our faith 
and our return to our angelic status because we are being birthed make no doubt about it that we are being birthed into our angelic status again that's why it says arise O Elohim judge the earth in Psalm 82 because those of us that have been converted we do arise and we're the reason the whole place is judged because of the truth that lives in us so anyway as I look at Lillian and I look at the people that have been through struggles and I just want to say God bless you I always try to do more but if you got this and you got him then you got everything you got the whole thing I have overcome the world so when you've been converted and you know you got converted and inverted and you 100% know that you know the truth you got the most valuable thing there is and you got your faith back which is the most valuable thing there is anyway I just want to comment I love you guys I love you guys all of you hey Johnny this is Billy DOC aka for sheep sakes on Instagram. I just want to tell you, Johnny, we just want to encourage you and we just want to tell you we love you. You've absolutely changed so many lives. I remember a video a while back that you did where you're talking to Kat, your friend Kat, and you were really distraught as you were said that you didn't think anybody was listening. Well, I was listening and there's countless others that have listened, uh, that were listening to you. Uh, you changed my life completely uh, my wife's life my children's life and so many others and um, just keep going dude we're almost there we love you Johnny bear hugs bear cult hug member for life hi Jonathan this is Jacob coming you I just wanted to say big bear hug from the bottom and top of my heart and with the whole ministry, this is it, 431 before the fire. May everyone be blessed in the most precious and mighty name of Jesus. And with all the power in heaven, God Almighty be with you all in these last days. And do not be afraid. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hi, Jonathan. This is Tammy Sunday. Just wanted to tell you how much I thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all of your diligence. I'm not quitting on us. Thank you for all your perfect love, all of your works of faith. I just wanted to give you a big hug from me to you. Yeah, this is you, Bear Angel. Big hug. God bless you. I love you so much. Hey, Johnny. Jesse here. I just wanted to say thank you for the ministry and thank you for everything that you do I know it can't be easy I can't even imagine it I just wanted to say thank you I've been coming to ministry for about six years now and <laughs> thank you for teaching me to turn the world upside down I just want to say thank you and that I love you Johnny and just keep up the good work this is you Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for everything. I love you. Hey, it's Jackie Montoya. I've been following you for about six years now, and what a blessing your ministry has been. I just wanted to send a word of encouragement and thank you. This morning I happened to stumble across a video from a year ago where the cats um, turned on the Mr. Peabody video and the whole wormhole thing. So little things like that just encourage me to keep me going. And I love having quick files. It keeps me engaged and encouraged to keep going. So thank you for everything and all your hard work. We all love you, brother. Jonathan, big bear hug. We love you and we thank you and praise Jesus. Hi, Jonathan. I just want to thank God for everything that you've done. And um, I just pray as a protection around you and the whole ministry, everyone that's been helping. This is you. This is me. And I thank you. I love you. 
Big bear hug. God bless you, brother. Hi, Jonathan. It's me, Lillian, and my husband, DJ. Hello. And here's a photo of Rick. Remember him? We want to thank you for all you've done for us. I want to encourage you by giving you a virtual hug to keep you going. We're praying for you. This is Rick's dog called Theo, and we want to give you a hug through him from all of us. Keep going, brother. We'll see you soon at the party upstairs. Bye. Big hug from all of us. Bye. Hey, Jonathan. This is just a thank you from Gina to you to tell you thank you for everything you've done for me. Um, Vatican Snake. <laughs> and um, just thank you. I love you, brother. Really do. Anyway, this is you and this is me hugging Jonathan. Tightly. Very tightly. Love you, brother. Have a great day. Jonathan, I'm Zeppelin. Thank you for your hard work. Very good job. Very good job. I love you in Christ. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Up. God bless you. Done for us. Always checking in on us, giving us more more information, giving us building our faith with all your miracles that you tell us about all the time and hearing from you on a regular basis really really helps me Um, when I don't hear from you I get worried I sometimes check with Dave like where's John is he okay but I've learned to step back from that that was a few years ago I know you're okay Hey, Brother Johnny, we wanted to give you some encouragement and thank you for everything that you're doing for us and for everybody in the world. And this is you right here, and we want to give you a virtual hug. We love you, brother. Love you, brother. We love everybody. Every single one of you. Have a great one. Hey, Johnny. This is you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. I, I really mean it from the bottom of my heart all of my heart. Thank you, Lord, for my brother Johnny and what he's doing, the sacrifice he's making. I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm thankful for everything. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Lord, for my, my brother Johnny. In Jesus' name, thank you. Amen. Jay, brother, this is it, man. Uh, wow, it's been a minute. It's been a while. Uh, the Lord, uh, turned me up back in the blog talk radio days and set me on fire for him and led me to your ministry. And back then, you know, the story probably a lot of people don't, but uh, I prayed early in my walk during the blog talk days. And uh, I asked the Lord, man, I just want to be as close to the truth as possible. And, uh, boy, did he make that happen. So, But anyways, I just want to let everybody know, man, I've been with Johnny for a little over four years, been through some missions, obviously, if those that follow the ministry know, and, uh, and he used, the Lord used Johnny to refine me and, you know, in my walk and, uh, and I've seen him, he suffers, man, he's suffered like nobody I've ever lived with, been around, always in pain, um, managing the affairs of angels, all over the place and uh you know we've all if you've ever met johnny and you're one of us and you know uh we've uh we've all been refined one way or another in our walk with jay and um you know what brother i i wouldn't have never i couldn't have chose anyone better than to work with you and to be by your side and do all the things we got to do for the lord Sorry, man. A lot of miracles. But I uh, love you, bro, and uh, I'll see you soon in the air. Hi, John. Sharon and Greg. 
Got it's, a hug for you. Mm, we love you. Can't wait to meet you in person at the wedding feast. Hi, Johnny. This is Michelle, Justin, and Joey. We just wanted to send a quick video just saying thank you for all that you've done for us and for this ministry. And just wanted to send some love and encouragement your way. We're all praying for you, and we can't wait to see you at the party. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Hey, Johnny. Can't wait to meet you soon. Can't wait to meet all of our family and the teddy bear cult. Thank you for all the many years of the blessings that you've shared and bestowed upon us all. We love you. You take care. See you soon. Hey, brother. Uh, keep going. Anything that's happening to us right now is uh, not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. I love you, everybody. And uh, this is a group hug. Love you. Bye-bye. Hey, Jonathan. I was reflecting back on the time that you and I and T went hunting, and you came to look into the woods that morning when it was fall. You put that bear hat on, <laughs> and I thought, boy, you're lucky one of these rednecks here didn't shoot him. But uh, you are a teddy bear, bro. And I just want to thank you for everything you've done. Uh, and that's me all those times that I need to talk to someone. And I think God strategically placed, placed you in my life at a big transition time in my life. And uh, I want to thank you for that. And for everything that you've done for the 4321 This Is It family. Um, you're my champion, man. And I just want to tell you how much I love you. And I really appreciate your friendship and your brotherhood. Jesus, man, I love you. And I'll see you at the party, bro. Thank you for everything. Jonathan, I want to thank you for helping me understand the simplicity of everything. What's as easy as being turned upside down. <laughs> I love you, everybody. Oh, boy. Oh. Just had surgery. Take care. Love you guys. Buzz. Hi, Purpin Buzz. One new man. From two. Does making peace. Hi, Johnny. Thought you could use a little bit of encouragement after everything that you've been going through lately. And I just want you to know that your videos are reaching a little sheep. So. This is you. This is me. Can't wait to see you at the party on the other side soon. Maybe today. Hey Johnny, it's Margie. I just wanted to say thank you for all you do for the Lord and for having a willing heart and just being there like you have and to keep going all these years. I love you, brother. This is me. That's you. Big hug. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. This is Carla Sweeney, cheerleader for Jesus. I just want to thank you for everything you do for our Savior. You're as humble as can be, and it blows our minds what our King can do in and through us. As we surrender to Him and His will, He how can we help but glorify and magnify what he has done for us? We'll see you soon on high. Save me a dance at the wedding at the wedding feast. I love you, brother. Bye now. Hey, brother Johnny. It's Austin Knox in Denver. And I know you don't want to thank you, but you're getting one anyway. So thanks for persevering through 22 years of hatred on YouTube. And, um, for what it's worth, I can tell you I was an atheist in 2015 when the Lord woke me up and he directed me straight to your ministry. So thank you for persevering through all of that. And we'll see you at a party soon, brother. So this is me and this is you. And thank you again. Glory to God. See you, brother. 
Hey everyone, um, Sean Becker here. I just want to say hi to all my brothers and sisters in Christ and to thank Jonathan for his perseverance and allowing us to understand scripture and giving us the absolute truth, the 100% truth of who we are, where we are, and the spiritual significance of everything. So Jonathan, I can't thank you enough and I th and I know that people in this ministry can't thank you enough. So I, I hope there's a party soon that we're all gonna get to. Hey Jonathan, my name is Timothy Labiola. Thank you for calling me out of the darkness and into the Lord's marvelous light. I'm so grateful. Um, I'm on the 33rd floor and that's something. Anyway, I just really want to give you a big hug. Um, thank you very much for, for reaching out to me. And I want to, you know, give you a big hug. And I can't wait to see you at the party. I want to give you a big hug. I want to give the Lord a big hug. I want to give everyone a big hug. And it will be such a thank you for calling me out at that time. It was so personal. It was so personal. Thank you so much. All right, I love you. I'll, I'll see. You. I'll see you at the party. Hi, Jonathan. It's Sean from Australia. I live in Melbourne. Um, I just wanted to reach out and express my gratitude for the ministry and everything that you've done over the course of all of these years. You've been a constant friend when I haven't really had any. Um, and I just wanted to express my gratitude and can't wait to meet you and the rest of the crew at the big party. This hug, Johnny, is from me to you. Thank you, bro, for everything that you have done for all of us. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Hey, Jonathan, thank you for everything that you've done for the ministry. Um, me personally, thank you for ruining my life for the better. Um, this is me, this is you. Thank you. Hi, Jonathan. This is Linda in Las Vegas, and I just wanted to take a moment to tell you how much you're appreciated. In fact, I just paused your video so that I could make this clip. And uh, I want you to know that I've seen all your videos, usually more than once, and to share them as much as possible. And I pray for you continually. And I want to thank you for always being there. I see your face. I hear your voice every day. And I also want to show you a picture that I moved from my wall over here. Whoops. Here we go. There you are, right there. That's you, angel of light, messenger of God, servant of the King. And that's how I view you and many others view you. And I'm uh, looking forward to meeting you at that big supper. And uh, my bear and I... Here is my bear, with the star on the forehead, and uh, we send you our love and blessings. Bye now. Peace and grace, family. Uh, this is for you, brother Jonathan. Um, words can't even describe, you know, what you've done for me and, and in my heart, brother. You know, I, I, we go way back. You know, I've been watching you since the beginning, really, in YouTube. You know, and my testimony alone has a lot of you in it and the people that you brought me closer to. You know, you, you, you saved my life. You brought me out of opiate addiction. Thank God. You know, you helped me. You brought me to a family that was more loving than anything in the world. You got, you helped me see all these wonderful people that are now a part of my life and uh it's all thanks to you brother you know the, my identity in christ i have found because the lord has used you to bring me back home so with my words of encouraging brother i love you so much you saved my life abba saved my life and i wouldn't have been able to do it without you Thank you, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. You save lives. You are a miracle. 
You're a miracle for all of us. And I love you. Thank you and God bless. Hi, Jonathan. Uh, this is Robert Dam. Uh, I'm from Philadelphia. And I just want to say thank you for your hard work all these years. And thank you for working really hard for spreading the truth to everybody. And thank you for all the bear hugs. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Johnny, for sacrificing everything to go on the ultimate search and rescue mission for the Lord God. You gave up your entire life to help others, including me. You are the most selfless and giving person I know. I'm so glad that L, in his infinite wisdom, picked wonderful you to be the angel of the Church of Philadelphia. This is me. This is you. Here is a big bear hug for all the hardships you have endured to find and help save all of us lost sheep. Mm-hmm. See you soon at the party on the other side. Much respect, brother. God bless. Thank you, Johnny, for all you've given me, all you've done for me. And I thank you for all that you've been through. Peace and grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Johnny, this is Eric. And Susie. And we want to give you a big bear hug and thank you so much for everything you've done, brother. Thank you for persevering through all the pain and suffering and standing up for God's chosen people, Father. Thank you so much for Jonathan and thank you for the ministry. We love you. This is you, a baby lamb, and this is me. From the bottom of my heart, Hi, Jonathan. This is Joy and Tony Lynn Fargo from El Cajon. That's in San Diego, California. And uh, we just want to say thank you so much for answering your calling to be Jesus' angel of the Church of Philadelphia. The one church to go up our pots of rapture were kept from the hour of trial that comes upon the entire world. And we can't thank Jesus enough for you, brother. We love you and uh, can't wait to see you at the great party. Thank you. And uh, keep rolling up those sleeves and kicking Satan's ass. Soon, brother. Johnny, I just wanted to thank you for everything that you've done. Um, it's been about five and a half years since I first uh, was led to your ministry, and it's, I'm just grateful uh, that I had an opportunity to meet you back in Texas, and I've just this journey has been amazing. And, you know, I just specifically wanted to thank you for um, creating in me a zealousness for the Lord and for His Word, and it has just uh, started me on a journey that... Um, it, it's just enriched my life in ways that you can't understand, but we know that uh, that uh, the Lord is faithful to lead us to the things that we need to be led to. So I just wanted to thank you again for all of the hard work that you've done. Um, love you in Christ. See you soon. Bye. Hi, Brother Jay. want to say thank you for all you've done and all you continue to do. Thank you very much. Hey, Jay. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you for all the encouragement and your labor of love. Love you. Hey, Brother Jay. Just wanted to thank you and say that I love you. Thank you for all that you've done for us. All right. Here's love you. Big bear hug. Woo, we love trap. you, Jay. Ooh. Big bear hug for Jay. Hi, Brother Jonathan. It's Mary. I just want to say thank you for everything that you do and continue to do and for laying your life down for us, for loving us so much that you are selfless and you continue and endure and give us the truth in all things, my my brother. Thank you. Um, I love you with all my heart and I wanted to give you a hug because you always give us a hug. Thank you, my brother. Hi, Jonathan. Wanted to thank you for all the hard work you put into your ministry. You make all those videos and I know they're not easy and 
You do the best job you can to get the word out to as many people as will listen to you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate all your hard work. Uh, keep it up. You're doing a fantastic job. And uh, send him some hugs your way. Keep up the good work. We love you. Hi, Jonathan and my brothers and sisters. This is James Farley. Years ago, when I was searching for 100% truth, Jesus led me to this ministry and the Church of Philadelphia, and I'm so happy to be here. I love you all. Thank you, Jonathan, for your perseverance and your, your hard work. Uh, I watch almost all your videos. Uh, I love you, and I hope to see you soon at the big party. Here's a big hug. Hi, Jonathan. It's Nathan. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for all the videos you've done. Um, God bless you. Um, hang in there, uh, and thank you for all the videos. Thank you for showing us the key to the kingdom of heaven, and thank you for everything. Thank you, Jonathan. And great hugs for me here, Nathan, and got my little stuffed animals. Uh, and I just I hope you're hanging in there, brother. Thank you very much uh, for everything. God bless you. Love you, Jonathan. Morning, brother Jonathan. Thank you from Arnett, Columbus, Ohio. Thank you for repeating all the the testimonies from the beginning, and now we're at the end, and all of them are important. They all lining up, and I just thank you. A lot of us are praying for our families, our neighbors, and we share your information. And there's some that are coming in, and they'll get a chance to see and catch up where we're at. But I want to thank you for continuing to share the testimony. And being steadfast. Thank you for being steadfast and showing us how to get back on the ABBA. Thank you so much. I love you. And once again, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. And here's my, <laughs> my bear. Well, actually, it's the elephant. I just want to tell you thank you. And here's the hug for my little bitty elephant. I love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to you later. Hey, see you at the party. See you at the party. Look up. Look up. Love you. Hey, Johnny. Thanks for your awesome work and dedication. Keep it up. One video that God led me to in a way that I watched it and I wouldn't have otherwise was perfect. That's how well God knew me to bring me to your channel just at the right time for the Man in Our Image series. And in one video, it showed me the Hebrew and Greek, which I didn't even know existed. And was possible and the truth on Genesis destroyed the Mormon temple lie. So with that I left and the message God gave me on the timestamp for the letter to leave the Mormon church for the post office signature was 619, which means away from and enjoy. And I enjoy all the truths the Lord reveals through you. And thank you, Jesus, also for giving us Jonathan. Keep it up, Jonathan. You're helping a lot of people get their eyes open and seeing the truth and get converted out of the darkness into his glorious light. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Johnny, how's it going, brother? I pray that you're doing well, and I pray that these videos will encourage you the way your videos encourage us. I thank you for showing me the absolute truth. Now I can see the truth everywhere, and it's in everything. I just want to give you a big old hug, brother. This is me, and this is you. I love you, brother. I pray that you stay blessed and keep your faith strong until we meet again at that beautiful reunion in the sky. In Jesus' name. Hey, Jonathan, it's Odell. I just wanted to... Say, I love you, brother in Christ. It's almost time to go home. We're getting really close and door to the end. And there's my little buddy. I bought him on the way back from the stars. Not under the stars. He's where I always hug now. Baby. So you're lucky. <laughs> but, uh, yep. Yeah, let the Lord's will be done. See you soon. Hey, Johnny. I know you've been going through a pretty hard time lately. This is Beanie, so this is a hug from me to you. Bye. Hey, Jonathan. This is Lindy Ryder. We met at the Night Under the Stars a few years back here now. 
Um, I just wanted to thank you so much for your perseverance and for showing me the way, which is Jesus, and just giving me the tools to get closer to him. And it's just been such a miraculous journey. Thank you for hanging in there and continuing to hold, hang in there. Love, peace, and grace. Thank you. Hey, Johnny, this hug is from us to you. Mm. We love you, man. We love you for everything that you've done. And we thank, thank you, you from the bottom of our hearts and our soul. Uh, we can't wait to see you at the party. party. Love you, brother. Thank you. Hi, it's us, Zoe and Leah. We're here to say that this is for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Jonathan, it's Stephanie from the Palmer House. Just wanted to take a minute to thank you for all of the edifying encouragement that you deliver us. And we just wanted to uh, tell you we love you, and um, we can't wait to meet you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, for the beer, a hug, cold. That's been a support, strength, and a lifeline for this time on earth. So keep persevering, keep going, keep doing what you do, because. It is truly a life saver. It has just just know that your ministry has saved one more soul. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. We just wanted to come on and tell you how much we love you and appreciate you, and we want you to keep going. Please don't give up and please don't lose heart. We love you very much. You've you've changed our lives forever, and we'll never be able to repay you back for that. That's true, Jonathan. We love you so much. We want you to keep going for the church, for us, absolutely, everybody else that watches your videos. Yes, keep it going, honey, because you're not through yet. Yes, we just wanted to say, this is you. This is you. This is me. This is me. We love you. I love you, Hi, Johnny. It's Gabrielle Henderson from Australia. And I just want to say thank you for everything, for what you've taught me. Thank you so much. And this is for you, Johnny. A hug. Thank you, brother. I can't wait to see you up in heaven and that magnificent party with our Lord. Thank you, bud. Hi, Jonathan. This is Sheila. I just want to say thank you. I was reading uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 the other day, and parts of it reminded me of you, so I just wanted to share that. But thank you so much for all your perseverance and your the teachings that you have passed on to us from the Lord. And thank you for uh, being such a good example and, and bringing us to, to the end so we can be with the Lord at the wedding feast. Hi, Jolly. This is Alan Adams here. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you and your ministry and your obedience to the Lord and just how much that Jesus has changed my life through you. You know, it's been about eight years now when I first started following you and I set out to prove you wrong because I just thought you was crazy. And here I am, eight years later, proud member of the Bear Hug Cult. Yes, sir. This is you, Johnny. This is me. Mm. Mm. I love you so much, Johnny. Thank you so much for what you've done and your obedience. God bless you, Johnny. Johnny. Daniel McGann here. I've been following you for over three years. Probably four years. Um, came across your video on Twitter from Tribulation Times and was hooked. 
left the Catholic Church and been with you every step of the way, brother. And um, you, your energy and conviction strengthens me. It is so heavy these days. So hard, so much effort to do anything. But uh, you keep me going, brother. You are the gift that keeps on giving. God bless you, brother. Love you. Bear hug. Hi, Jonathan. Um, wow, what a crazy trip it's been. I can't even begin to explain what a blessing it's been to be a part of this journey with you and everyone else that I have had the opportunity to meet and talk to. Um, I got to take my then 15 year old child to a night under the stars and he has since given his life to Christ and has become a follower and a believer and is on fire. And, um, I don't think any of that would have been possible without you and your gift and your sharing. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you again. Um, I, I hope and pray that I would have the power and the strength that you have had to put up with and deal with everything you've had to deal with to speak the truth. And God, I did. I sure hope to see you guys at the top. Thanks. Big hugs. Love you. Hi, Jonathan. We just want to say thank you for all that you do, for persevering, and for being a crusty enough to handle this job. We love you. We love you. This is you. you. This is us. Hey, Johnny. It's Wanda of the Three Sisters. Pam and Joyce could not be here today, but we all wanted to say that we love you and we thank you for everything that you do for us, and we continuously pray for you. So, I don't have a teddy bear, but I have a flamingo. So, this is you, and this is us. Mm -hmm. You deserve all the hugs, Jonathan. Thank you. We'll continue to drink the Kool-Aid with you until Jesus tells us to come home. Hi, Johnny. This is Sandy Jones. Excuse my voice because I'm not feeling so well myself here, but I just did want to thank you for all the things that you've done. I miss Grand Junction. I miss Night Under the Stars. But I'm not going to miss that wedding feast in heaven. Hope to see you soon. Thanks again. This is you. Love you in Christ. Hi, Johnny. This is Cindy Carmen Doty. And this is you. Here you are. <laughs> Thank you for everything. You're wonderful. Zach and Corey too and thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart um words can't express thank you and can't wait to see everybody I knew I'd cry <laughs> thank you hi John it's Mark from Antica, California and I just want to say thank you, Lord Jesus, for raising up your prophet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Thank you, John. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for your sacrifices. Everything you can't talk about. You know, I know you're stretched thin. I, can, I can't even imagine it, but just know we're here. We love you, brother. And I want to encourage you to keep going because, as you know, we are at the door. God bless you all. Redeemed angels. Bye. Every time Jonathan hugs a teddy bear, I simply do this. And I envision that it's you. My brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction and of patience. 
Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. But hi, Johnny. Fallon here saying hi and thank you. Just wanted to say thanks for everything you do and always taking time out of your busy schedule to check in and make sure your friends and your people are doing well. And for never taking a day off, even the hard days, day after day after day, weeks, um, sometimes months, I'm sure, of um, some serious, tough, hard, heavy stuff. I really appreciate that you stay true and you don't give up. You're motivating all of us. So thank you very much. This is you. This is me. Hope you have a good day. Talk to you later. Hey, Johnny. How you doing, brother? I just want to thank you for leading me to Jesus about two years ago, saving my soul. I love you, brother. I love Jesus. And this is you. And I love you, man. I love you, brother. Thank you for all the work, man. I really appreciate it. You've done a lot of hard work, man. You're bringing a lot of people to Jesus, and uh, we're all going to have a party soon, brother. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, brother Johnny. This is Karem from East Texas. Now it's our turn to send you shorts. And I wanted to say thank you, and I really love your ministry. I appreciate everything that you do. I love you in Christ Jesus. This is you. And I'm giving you and sending you a big bear hug. Thank you so much. And him that overcome, shall I make a pillar in the temple of the Lord. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan, for all the years, the pressing, the continuing to get back up. Sharing the truth, it's all upside down. Praise. Thank you for revealing the line of the tribe of Judah within all of us, Lord, that it's upside down and being in you is right side up. Lord, thank you so much for Jonathan sending him in this time that we can all know. It's time to praise. The truth is clear. Thanks, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Angel Miller from Minnesota. I've been here 15 years. Uh, thanks for waking me up. Thanks for being obedient. Um, I wanted to show you uh, this this picture my dad painted when he was 16. Um, our last name means the God of fire. And that week that you were talking about your name and God is the God of fire and everything, I, you know, I looked this up and found that out. And then a guy's truck caught on fire outside our house. And, <laughs> uh, we were talking about names to, you know, this guy. And, uh, I said that my, one of my ancestors founded Corpus Christi. And he says, do you know what that means? I said, yeah, well, uh, the body of Christ. And then I ran in the house to um, catch your radio show on Blog Talk. And that was the title of the show, Body of Christ. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's been, it's been a, a journey, a supernatural journey. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. What's up, guys? Hey, my name's Derwin. This is for the 4321 for the fire. Johnny's no joke. God, God told me to shower. Take everything you know from Jonathan. Click on your computer. Go to hot. Hey Jonathan, God bless you brother. I just wanted to say a few words for the video that Ellie's putting together and I think I can speak from everyone who's been following our ministry that we can't thank you enough for everything that you've done to help build the kingdom of God. And although of course we need to give all glory to the Lord God for everything he's revealed through you, but without your faith, without your obedience, and without your heart and the love that you have for everyone, none of this would have happened because we know the tremendous amount of effort that goes into putting together this information whether it be staying up till 3 o'clock in the morning or having the faith to jump into a desert without knowing the outcome. And I believe that it's because of your character, it's because of the love that you have for everyone, that's why the Lord God chose you to be his watchman. So I just want to say personally, thank you for everything you've done. 
God bless you because you deserve all the rewards that are coming in heaven. Take care, brother. I love you. Hey, Jonathan. Just want to tell you how much I love you and it's been an amazing journey and uh, big old bear hugs coming from me. Thanks for all you do for the 4321 This Is It family. Lots of love here, brother. Hope you have a great day. Hey, Johnny. Just wanted to give you a shout out. This is Eli. And I wanted to say thank you so much for your year after year, for 22 years, sticking with it, presenting the truth. This is you. This is me. And here's your bear hug. Hey, Johnny, you got Bowie and Zach here. I'm just hopping on here to express some gratitude to you, man. Thank you so much for your obedience to the Lord. And thanks for uh, just loving with your full heart and uh, sharing Jesus's message. Because without you, who knows where I'd be just stuck in the same old loop. But now I'm free. And that's thanks to your obedience to the Lord and Jesus. So, yeah, thank you so much, man. I love you. Here to give you a big old hug. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Everything you do for us and everybody else to help us all out. You're a good man. You have laid down your life to help others. Mary, we don't have a bear to hug. Hug this tree for Connor right here. I'm hugging the tree. <laughs> strong Let's go. I will name him George and I will hug him and pet him and squeeze him I'm not a bunny rabbit and pat him and pet him and Whopper, whopper.
Whopper, Whopper Junior, Double, Triple Whopper, Flame Grill, Taste with Perfect Toppers, I will, I will, I will this day. Lettuce, mayo, pickle, ketchup, it's okay if I don't. To sum it all up. I saw the sun begin to dim and felt that winter wind blow cold. A man learns who is there for him when the glitter fades and the walls won't hold. Cause from that rubble remains can only be what's true. If all was lost, there's more I gained Cause it led me back to you And from now on, these eyes will not be blinded by the lights From now on, let's wait until tomorrow starts Tonight, it starts tonight, and let this promise in me start like an anthem in my heart from now on. From now on, from now Just a quick intermission as I'm watching you guys. <laughs> I've been crying solid till now. I saw Billy come here. And um, by the way, everybody up until now, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And, um, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't have remembered some stuff unless some of y'all would have brought it up. The cats turning on the wormhole thing was pretty cool. Um, but Billy, I rem I know I haven't even watched what Billy's gonna say yet. But uh, I remember I was wearing a bear a hat that basically turns your head into a bear, and I think it was real foggy as I recall. And I, uh, <laughs> that could have been the end of the ministry right then and there. <laughs> so y'all owe Billy a big thank you for not dropping me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. There we go. Guys, I uh, I just I I don't want to just but this is going to be an a reel that's in front of the whole video. 
I stopped most of these and just took a moment and just, I don't want this thing to go on for three hours because I'm stopping every time somebody says something and making a comment. But guys, just So maybe I could use this moment to tell you guys part about maybe my psyche, who I am. Before I got saved um, in the Jonathan Cleck path that I had done in my life, um, there was a point where I was involved with a, a band called Winter Cat and I had helped reform this band and uh, we did this album that went to number three on import charts in Europe in October of 1988 and we were out, out selling Guns N' Roses Motley Crue. We were, we were third on the import out charts in Europe and back then the higher ideal in my mind besides the fame and what came with it, you know, being rock stars, being on tour and all that, which I definitely wanted. That was a big part of it. But more than that, more than that, the reason I really wanted to do it was because I wanted to write a song that was A song that would be remembered you know like one of these songs like a lot of people have your own favorite song it means something to you I wanted to write a song that even after I died that someone could turn it on in their car or be somewhere and if you were having a crappy day you could turn on that song and that song would would change your day for the better. That was my higher ideal in what I was doing in the music industry. The lower ideal is basically what we were all doing. You know, I certainly wasn't living a, some holy Christian life or anything, but I did have a higher ideal. And as strange as the Lord is and what he does his ways are so much higher than our ways that he he gave me that idea times a thousand by just watching this video so my greatest aspiration or whatever it was you know, my ideal of good, to be able to help people even after I was dead, to make their day better. He's made all that happen. And I'm watching it. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. I'm so unworthy for any of this, <laughs> but totally grateful. Anyway, play a moment of this. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, just, I love all you guys, and anyway, thank you. So, <laughs> I'm watching this whole video, and I'm trying not to stop it, but I've been crying for 60 minutes straight. <laughs> I love you guys. Unbelievable. I'm so glad that. 
I get to see your face and your name. I love you guys. I needed, I didn't realize how bad, badly I needed to connect with your names and your faces. I didn't realize how badly. I've been having a really difficult time trying to move forward, even though the Lord unloads miracle after miracle on me. One thing it does say is, I know you have little strength. That's a fact. I think Corey will be my number one witness to I, I have very little strength left. I feel like I got my ass seriously whooped. Anyway, I love you guys. Let's keep going. So, yeah. Anyway, so, again, I love you guys. Any of you guys feel like we're returning from, like, a long tour of duty? <laughs> That's all I feel like right now. Anyway, in a good way, obviously. All right, man. Yep. Again, I, I, uh, I just, as I'm watching this reel, I could stop at every single one of y'all and just have a short conversation and just, again, tell each one of you. Thank you. Uh, I didn't realize how bad I needed to get eyes on all you guys. The elephant works. <laughs> One of my nicknames was Babar, which is an elephant. <laughs> That's awesome. Again, uh, as I'm watching this and I hear y'all's thank yous and your messages and things I didn't know, what a miracle. What a miracle to hear the truth about Genesis 1 and allow you to escape Mormonism. One of my best friends was went into Mormonism and it destroyed him. And uh, he's so locked in now, it's horrifying. Anyway, awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. To, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this. So what I'm doing is just I'm I'm watching this whole thing again, just. When I say again, I started watching it, but I, I filled up my, uh, my uh, ice cream cup with a bunch of tears and couldn't eat my ice cream. <laughs> I gave up. I was like, okay, let's try it again. So this is me doing it again. Uh, I'm glad I don't have any ice cream in front of me again. Very, very monumentous truth in what he says right here, which is absolutely seen it. There it is. That's right. It's everywhere. It's in everything. Once you once you've been converted, you can see the world as it truly is, and you see the truth in everything. You see through a set of lenses. I've gone back and re-listened to a lot of music I used to listen to. It's mind-boggling. Anyway, awesome. I love you guys. This is. This is what I needed, guys. I don't know if I could have crawled across the finish line without this video. And that's a classic moment to Zoe and Leah. That's awesome. It looks like they're going to fight over who's going to have to go first. <laughs> All right, guys. I, I just I want it again. It's just like I said, it's 
I, it's hard. It's, I feel like I should be sitting here on every single one talking back to every single person again. I watched every single one and thank every single one of you. Um, I'm going to just obviously play this whole clip, the whole video. Um, thank you. It's awesome. Oh, look at those two troublemakers. <laughs> okay, three. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, that's Tammy and Buttons. So, again, uh, you know, I've heard people that said they were atheists. And now they believe. People that were trapped in Mormonism. And now they're out of the trap. People that have found their toolkit, their resources inside them to seek the Lord now. Alan right here just said, um, he set out to prove me wrong. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you. All right. Let's keep, keep going. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, 37 minutes in. I don't remember the last time I cried for 37 minutes straight. Yeah, my eyes are kind of running out of tears here. Thank you, Sandy. No. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, again, I <laughs> I'm like interacting with the video. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna have to just make this part of a reel. I guess maybe before or after. I'm just gonna give it to Zach. But uh, I love you guys. Like I said, I'm 38 minutes into a, a video and I haven't stopped crying yet. So. Anyway, again, I love every one of you. Thank you. It's nice to see your face and your, and your name and hear your voice. You know, guys, honestly, uh, I'm the easiest person in the world to live with. <laughs> anyway. Corey and Zach. Corey and Zach. Anyway, thank God for Corey and Zach. I mean, uh, and all, uh, like I said, it's uh, been 46 minutes of crying. <laughs> Thank you for hugging the tree, Mary. <laughs> Mary hugged a tree for me. Ah. I love you guys. Uh, I, was, I was very surprised to see what a good dancer Steve is right here, by the way. Um, yeah, I didn't know Steve could dance as well. <laughs> Steve, you're an awesome dancer, by the way. Okay, now that was a surprise ending right there. <laughs> but accurate, but still kind of a surprise. All right, guys. Um, I love you guys. Um, yeah. Um, I pray that this party is immediate. I mean that. I hope it's... I hope it's instantaneously quick, but I'll keep going as long as I can. You got one word on that. That's what I was called for. All right. I love you guys. Everybody.
I forgot I'm looking this way. I brought <clears throat> sometimes uh, when you need a you need a fresh pitcher when you're in the last inning and you need to make sure you finish strong. I brought in the big guy. I love you guys. Thank you for all your kind encouragement. Um, now I'll go get that ice cream thing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys. Y'all rock. Y'all are on the rock. Amen.